Bobby Avila, the on-deck batter, and then Vic Wirtz. Turley pacing himself and working very deliberately. Now the pitch. And it's popped up on the left side of the diamond, a shallow left field. Out goes Lopez, out goes McDougal. McDougal drops the ball. Breaking for second is Budden. Nobody covering the bag there. And Budden reaches second. Yankees had plenty of time to get a force play at second base after McDougal dropped the pop-up in left field. But Lopez had gone after it. Richardson saw third base left open. Turley had not gone over to cover third, and he broke for third. He was caught midway between second and third. And as a result, Budden had clear sailing into second base. It's an error charged against Gil McDougal, and the Red Sox have runners on first and second. Bobby Avila stepping up. One man out, runners on first and second. Red Sox 2, New York nothing. We're in the last half of the third inning. Both Red Sox runs coming in the second on home runs by Vic Wirtz and Ted Williams. Fastballer Bob Turley on the mound for the Yankees. Again, taking a lot of time, thinking it out carefully as he studies the sign from Elston Howard. Budden takes a lead at second, Keo at first. They're holding up the pitch. A high drive hit the left corner by Bobby Avila toward the wall. It is gone, a home run. a 3-2 pitch for a three-run homer. The drive just cleared the wall in left center and scooted into the net. For Avila, his second home run of the year, and the Red Sox are out in front 5 to nothing. Before Jackie comes up to bat, we'll pause for station identification. This is the Red Sox Baseball Network. 850 on your dial, WHDH and WHDH-FM, the Herald and Traveler stations in Boston. Bob Murphy with Kurt Gowdy and Bill Crowley from Fenway Park. Jackie Jensen facing Bob Turley. Wirtz on first with one man out. Way outside, almost a wild pitch. Good stop by Howard, lunging off to his right. Turley has walked three, struck out two, allowed five runs, three hits. The 3 2 delivery. Inside, it's ball four, and Jensen walks. And here comes Casey Stingham. Ted Williams will be up. Both the Yankee skipper, Casey Stengel, is moving to the mound, and this may be it for Bob Turley. Right-hander Jim Coates will take over the pitching. Coates has won two and lost one. This will be his 20th appearance of the season. Here's the hand for Turley leaving the ball game. On our Ford scoreboard, Baltimore beat Washington 8 to nothing in the first game. No score after one inning in the second game. Jerry Walker against Pedro Ramos. Kansas City won Detroit nothing at the end of four and a half innings. Larry against Herbert. Herb's score and Billy Pierce warming up for the Cleveland-Chicago White Sox game. National League Phillies 11, Cardinals nothing. Final in the first game. No score in the second game. Cubs nothing, Pittsburgh nothing after three and a half in a single game. San Francisco failed to score in the first inning at Cincinnati. Los Angeles failed to score in the first inning at Milwaukee. Now here's 
Ted Williams stepping in the batter's box against right-hander Jim Coates, C-O-A-T-E-S. Dick Wirtz on second, Jensen on first, one man away, three runs in, five to nothing, Red Sox leading. Pitched by the right-hander, a fastball over, a strike call, he had plenty on that one. 